Uh, okay, we're, we're starting, I guess. Not uh, a lot of people, but then there are birds of feather sessions and whatever. Right, so this is an idea that uh, uh, we had quite a long, long ago to just uh, celebrate people uh, participating in uh, OpenStreetMap and uh, all, all this stuff. Uh, we actually plan to start uh, quite a lot of years ago. Uh, for example, there's uh, this award that Gregory can, can uh, say a few words about. Greg, can you? Yeah. One, one. Um, let me. Uh -huh. okay. you, you, you should press a button somewhere. Okay. Yeah. So I'm excited. I get to hold this. This is awarded to the OpenStreetMap Foundation in 2013. You can touch it. Have a touch. That's your award. <laughs> Come and have a look later. You can get your touch. It's quite fun. It's like. Thing. This was from the Geospatial World Leadership Award in 2012. I just tweeted the wrong date, actually. Um, so this was presented to the OpenStreetMap Foundation. This is our award. So as Ilya does the award ceremony, that's going to be amazing because we're going to acknowledge some people. I think we've already acknowledged some people by just nominating them and shortlisting them. Well done to those guys. But this is the award we've all won. If you're part of OpenStreetMap, if you edited 10 years ago, if you edited three days ago, if you just turned up to the conference, or if you just watched the live feed, this is your award. So uh, give yourselves a round of applause. Uh, good achievement. But uh, I should pass to Ilya for some focusing on some specific people now. Yeah, Gregory is right uh, that uh, just by nominating people for this award, we are actually acknowledging uh, the stuff they did. And, uh, well, I really wished uh, we had more nominations and more uh, slots for people so we can just list everyone who did anything in the past year. But uh, this is the award, so the list is quite short. All right, let's start the chase. Uh, OpenStreetMap Awards. Uh, the voting started like a month ago, and uh, 700, 768 people have uh, chosen uh, uh, people and projects who did, uh, who they think did uh, the most for uh, the project. And now, uh, well, we're cutting to the chase, uh, and uh, we'll see who uh, gained what. Uh, there are six uh, categories in which uh, there are five nominees each. Uh, and, uh, well, we'll see how it goes. So th the first category is Core Systems, Core Services uh, Award, or Core Systems, whatever. <laughs> uh, there are five nominees. First is uh, Mateusz Konecny, I think. <laughs> uh, a lot of people in OpenStreetMap know him. Uh, he enrolled in Google's uh, Summer of Code last year, uh, during which he basically changed our whole uh, default map style. He uh, painted roads different colors, and it caused uh, a lot of controversy. Uh, yeah, there was a lot of talk about that. And he basically made it look uh, more, uh, more professional a bit better. And he enrolled in Google Summer of Code this year and uh, also did some improvements, like uh, made uh, labels bigger and uh, added some icons and whatever. The next one is Roland Tolbricht. Some of you might know him. In uh, uh, 2011, he released OSM 3S that later became Overpass API. Who here has used Overpass API? Okay, then you know it's quite popular. <laughs> uh, yeah, it filters by tech, filters by uh, areas, uh, whatever. He uh, daily maintains uh, servers. There are three servers that he does uh, and updates the code. The last release of Overpass API was released just uh, the 1st of September, so it's pretty active. Then Bran Housel, you might know the ID editor that he writes. 
he is the lead developer and uh, oversees developments and prepares releases. And Sarah Hoffman, uh, he works on Nominatium. Uh, Nominatium was developed in 2009 by Brian Quignon, and Sarah has taken over in 2011 and has been working on it ever since. Uh, it's amazing when you look at GitHub that uh, the rate of her cha changes never ceases. He work she works uh, on it just day after day. And sometimes she also helps uh, operations working group with code. And of course, our administrators, Grant Slater and Tom Hughes, uh, uh, they are on uh, operations working group. And uh, I should add that uh, there is also at least Matt Amos, who does things uh, on a daily basis. So these are volunteer, unpaid administrators who uh, support our servers 24-7. Uh, I don't know how they live their lives with that. Uh, they do a lot of work. They moved our servers uh, physically just this May somewhere. And we don't have any serious outages. And that's basically because of these guys. And Tom also, with Matt, oversee uh, the Rails port code, the code for our website. Yeah, these are nominees uh, for Core Systems Award. And uh, it's a great pleasure to say this phrase on an uh, OpenStreetMap conference. So the winners are, or the winner is. God, how long have I waited for this? <laughs> right. No, this way. Um, I really hope he's here. I'm not sure. The winner is uh, Roland Albrecht. Oh, you're here. <laughs> yeah, hi. You, you, you can say some words. Yeah. Uh, if you want, we'll just make it quick. Yeah. Yes, one of course. First, a big thank wait, you. Wait, wait, wait. But an even bigger thank you to, oh. for example, mm -hmm. Grant and Tom. I've admittedly voted for them because they had really a marvelous service to have the service up to date. As well as the other nominees, it's very important to keep in mind that the real owner is to be nominized, not to end up the, the winner. And of course, the biggest thank you not only for those who have voted to me. Of course, the biggest, oh, sorry, the biggest thank you not only for those who awarded for me, but uh, also for all those mappers who really have created the database that we now are working on. Yeah, thank you, Roland. Uh, wait, please, please wait. Uh, it's not just calling names. We actually have some awards, like physical awards. Uh, how it's okay. So first is a certificate that's, uh, well, you can show anything. And then there's an amazing atlas, <laughs> uh, an amazing map uh, of the world. Well, it's painted by a lot of designers. Okay. Ah, thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Yeah, no, you, you, you can sit down. <laughs> yeah, thanks for doing the Pass API and everything. Right, uh, nominees uh, who didn't uh, get chosen, uh, uh, I'd like to request uh, that uh, they come uh, here after uh, the announcements because we have certificates for like everyone. <laughs> Yeah, so let's go on. Uh, innovation Award uh, is for people who, uh, well, Core Services Award was for people who work on uh, stuff we use on a daily basis, like OpenStreetMap website and stuff. In innovation Award is for people who make new things, uh, who uh, actually go around on conferences telling us mind-blowing things like there's something that is possible now that wasn't possible before. And uh, just for, well, new cases of usage of our system. And the first nominees are basically shown that 
It's uh, Manuel Roth and uh, Luca, Lucas Martinelli. Everyone knows them as uh, people who work on OSM to vector tile stack. Uh, uh, the main thing with OSM to vector tiles it, is that unlike Mapbox scripts, they make vector tiles un actually understandable. And it's their work that will uh, help vector tiles take over. Uh, and uh, uh, they're making a workshop today at 11.45, so if you want to learn more, they, you can just visit. Uh, then American Red Cross. Uh, there's a lot of some technical things on the table, uh, and it uh, constitutes a portable OSM. It's basically OSM in a box. Uh, so you take it with you uh, somewhere with no internet, and uh, you have uh, OSM website, API, tile renderer, basically everything. It's just uh, a copy of OpenStreetMap. And when you take it back to internet, uh, it uh, automatically merges, it changes. So it's, it's amazing how, how it works. Uh, they have already used it and uh, wrote a lot of articles about it and uh, made presentations. Uh, and uh, they talked about it yesterday. Uh, Martin Van Exel is the author of MapRoulette. Who here has used MapRoulette? Yeah, that's quite a lot. Uh, I, I guess it's everyone in the US and a lot of people in Europe. Uh, so yeah, just a tool for gamification of making uh, uh, fixes to some data. Uh, and uh, this March, he launched a second version, which is more open. Uh, everyone can contribute uh, projects to it. Uh, and he made a presentation about it on Friday. Uh, MapSwipe team, uh, they're part of uh, Missing Maps, I think. Uh, they made this great application that uh, doesn't require you to know about OpenStreetMap or spend time uh, placing points of interest, you just click on imagery and that's all, and you bring a great help to missing maps and other projects. It uh, launched just uh, this July, and uh, this month they actually published some results under an open license, so I like that the whole application is open. Uh, Johan Boniface, Boniface, maybe, <laughs> uh, he does all things JavaScript. He's one of lead developers of Leaflet, currently busy with releasing 1.0, so maybe next year we'll actually get it. Uh, he also makes Cosmtik, uh, the cartoon theater, like Tile Mill, uh, but mostly known for UMAP. It's custom maps based on uh, uh, OpenStreetMap layers, uh, and uh, he does workshop on it uh, today at 2 o'clock. Right, so for the winner, who it can be? Said I can't she say it's she. Uh, so winner is or are Manuel Roth and Lucas Martinelli. You can say a word. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Not a lot, but as you see, there are two names up there, and actually it's many more people. So I want to thank these as well, like Stefan, Manuel, Peter, Imre. And I want to thank the OSM community for being so inclusive. I'm only knowing it since a year, and it's the best community I've known so far. So thank you. Yeah, great. <laughs> please, please don't go. <laughs> Uh, this is for you and uh, Manuel. And of course, all the great maps nice. of our times. I collect these, so perfect. Oh, oh great. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Lucas. Uh, now, on to the next. Influential, influential writing. 
the major part of OpenStreetMap community is just uh, writing things like blogs, uh, like news uh, and uh, tutorials and documentation. So we need a lot of writing and sadly very few people actually do that. And it would be very great if uh, more people have started well, writing all this stuff. And uh, who does it currently? Well, uh, mainly Harry Wood. He, he is uh, the uh, most active member of communications working group. Some say he is the only member. <laughs> yeah, and uh, he writes since, I don't know, 2004. <laughs> he inspired a lot of people. He inspired me to do social events. So, uh, yeah, he, he's great. But uh, now he mostly publishes photos from pub meetings. Yeah. Uh, Edil Queres de Arario. I don't know how it's written. <laughs> uh, but still a uh, great man. He was nominated. Uh, I didn't know him, but I read his blog. And it's a uh, great and very uh, interesting a slightly technical blog on all things, mostly uh, Mapillary, he's fan of Mapillary, and he even has his own custom rig to make, for making photos. Uh, here, uh, the blog is in Portuguese, he writes it uh, weekly, and there's a lot of technical details on Osmond, Mapperative, uh, Overpass Queries, MTK, and whatever. He's very, he's interested in everything and writes about it, and that's really great. Uh, Joost Schuppe, <laughs> uh, he's one of organizers for this conference, uh, and uh, he ma made, uh, has written the most amazing uh, inspirational note about uh, what I like about OpenStreetMap. You all should read it, if you haven't already. And he writes uh, in his OpenStreetMap diary a lot about uh, data analysis, the same quality, processing open data, mapping techniques, so basically everything. That's also great. Uh, Nick Allen, mostly knows, known by his nickname, Tall Guy. He's uh, uh, the maintainer and translation coordinator for Learn OSM. And that's a very important website because it's mostly tutorials on all things OpenStreetMap. And this is, uh, for a lot of people, this is the first website where, where they uh, get to know anything about OSM. And the weekly OSM team. I guess everyone here reads their blog. It's just a weekly collection of uh, important uh, news and also uh, gossip and uh, discussions uh, from mailing lists and well, everything. So they're great. I can't th thank them enough for doing that. Right, uh, and the winner is, who can it be? Maybe Jost? No? <laughs> no, this is wrong. <laughs> yeah. Uh, amazingly and quite unexpectedly, it's weekly the same team. <laughs> Yeah, come, come on. Whoever who wants to talk. Yeah, that, that's uh, team. That's actually the amazing thing about uh, Weekly SM is that it has a very big team of editors, unlike uh, almost all other blogs. Yeah, come on. So, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, say some words for me. Who? Oh, so, so, so many people. Yeah, that's great. Come on, team, team, as I said, team means team. And that's absolutely right. And I couldn't present you the founder of uh, the whole team. This is Mark. Uh, and we work together in the German team, and I told you in, this, in, in the presentation, which was not a presentation, I told you that we are even more than these people are here, 
I know one who is looking to us. It is the five. Christoph, thank you very much for doing your, all your week with OSMBC, which made possible that the weekly appears in so much languages, at mostly at the same time. Only to present you from Japan, Satoshi. Srivia from the English team. Regina from the English team. <laughs> uh, Laura from the Spanish team. Michael from the German team. Mark from the German team. Peter from the German team. Thank you very much. And I hope we can offer you more languages in the future. Especially, as I said in my speech, I think we need French. I think we need other languages as well. And with this tool, what Christoph created, it is possible that you create for your own community even a small block every week. Thanks a lot. Uh, thank you, Marfet. Uh, you're really great. Uh, sadly, I have only one certificate. You maybe can hang it up in your freestanding office in Geneva. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and this book, I think you can just share. <laughs> yeah, Th thanks a lot, guys, and keep up the work. <laughs> right, the next one, uh, it's about mapping. The main thing that everyone does in OpenStreetMap, and the first thing I assume uh, everyone does when they come to OpenStreetMap, just before reading documentation and knowing they got it all wrong, <laughs> is mapping. Uh, and uh, there are few people that uh, do that uh, almost on a daily basis and do that in a big quantities. And uh, I like, really would like to celebrate that. So who does it? Uh, first, Los Angeles building import team. Uh, it was one of the best imports, I think, uh, uh, because uh, it, it was so thought through. It's not just building yes with some shady contours. Uh, and it's open. You can see all the process on GitHub. So it's pretty great. Uh, Martin Jdila. I assume not a lot of you know about him, but uh, on his uh, how did uh, OSM heat map uh, site by Pascal, uh, I think it's the first time I've seen uh, a heat map that covers the entire country with no holes. Uh, and it's amazing. Uh, they say they, he mapped 1.4% uh, of all hiking routes worldwide and 38% uh, uh, of hiking routes within Slovakia. Yeah, he basically maps every time he works anywhere, and he works a lot, judging by his Facebook. Uh, Nelson A. de Oliveira, Oliveira, you know him by his uh, OSM username now live, and uh, he has a very active blog in Brazilian Portuguese, where he mostly assesses data quality of OpenStreetMap. So he. Uh, not as much maps new thing, but he uh, helps uh, keeping OpenStreetMap data uh, in a good quality. And this is also very important. Yeah. And uh, he also does a lot of other things, like maintains uh, Brazil-specific JOSM uh, validation per set. Uh, Romani Huria team, uh, you might have heard their presentations on the HOT Summit uh, some days ago. Uh, they find and train mappers in Dar es Salaam in Tanzania. That's a very big city, 3.5 million. And uh, they are active for some years, and in this time they uh, have got a lot of that city actually mapped. <laughs> and the uh, United Kingdom quarterly mapping team. Uh, they are doing mapping projects since uh, 2015. Uh, you might have noticed, if you read the uh, same diaries, the project on uh, schools, which attracted a lot of mappers and a lot of people who made software for them. 
Uh, it's mostly Brian Prangle and Rob Nickerson, but also quite a lot of mappers and a lot of helpers. So, who won? Uh, it uh, was very hard to choose from. I think in this category, at one point, there was a tie, like 140 versus 140. But we have a winner, actually, and uh, it's Martin Jdila. <laughs> Martin is not, not uh, with us today, but uh, yeah, he, he's with, yeah he's with us uh, virtually. Can you bring him uh, th things? Yeah, so he, he's very small, much smaller than I expected. Yeah, yeah thanks. Uh, say tell him thanks. <laughs> Right. Uh, uh, okay, the next one is expanding the community award. The community in OpenStreetMap, they say, is very important, even sometimes more important than the map. Uh, so, uh, we know there's a large community in uh, Western Europe and the uh, United States, but uh, uh, some people are actually trying to make OSM truly worldwide. Uh, like uh, these guys, uh, oh, uh, as Ahasanul Hok and Tassel Fabaki Bila, I think. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, they write a very active Facebook group for Bangladesh mappers. It's uh, in English, uh, very seldom in Bengali, uh, and you should sign up because they write about all the important things in OpenStreetMap. Uh, they say uh, they're active in local map mapping, uh, humanitarian team activations abroad and local humanitarian work, including training uh, NGOs in the use of OpenStreetMap. So most of photos in their Facebook is uh, from trainings and mappings, and they're very great. Uh, Pascal Nice, everyone knows him. He's active since uh, 2010, and uh, he produces fine maps and changed the statistics since, since then. And his maps, uh, where are the new OSM contributors and who's around me, are uh, instrumental in contacting uh, with new and nearby mappers. So this helps the local community. Pete Masters, uh, well, uh, they wrote, uh, he's nominated for being the heart and soul of the Missing Maps project which has developed countless OSM activities, training, and supporting many OSM communities around the world. You might have seen some of his uh, videos about uh, what Missing Maps actually do, does. Courtney Clark, uh, on this photo, she's uh, starting the mapping party in the White House in the US. That's, I think, it's pretty big. She's uh, an innovation fellow at Peace Corps uh, and member of humanitarian team since 2014. And well, he, that's basically the thing she, she does. She uh, helps integrate the same data in uh, US government and NGOs. And the Kathmandu Lean Labs. You might refer the name. It's a technology group in Nepal. Uh, and their project, Map for Everyone, uh, is aimed at mapping the whole country. It's worked since 2013, and in the time they trained more than one and a half thousand people, mapped two million buildings and a lot of roads. Right, and who gets, uh, who does the most for community, I think? Or <laughs> who people know the best? <laughs> it's uh, Pascal Nice. Uh, yeah, Fre uh, he's not here. Frederick can deliver a certificate and the. Can I the, the mic for a second? Yes, of course you can take it. 
So yeah, Pascal sent me an, an email yesterday and said in, in the event that, in the unlikely event that he should win an award, asking me to uh, accept that on his behalf and thank everyone who voted for him and who's using his tools. They're great. Thanks. <laughs> And the last award, the most, I think, important one at this ceremony, uh, that's uh, the category we came up in 2012, four years ago, and that was the year Ulf Müller uh, was killed. He joined OpenStreetMap in 2007, when there was just a handful of members, as Simon said some days ago. Ulf was a mapper known for his smile and helpful demeanor. In 2009, he was elected to the OSMF board, and he is mostly known by his work on licensing working group. He helped uh, transition into ODBL. To celebrate the memory of Ulf, we decided to hold the Ulf Muller Memorial Award each year. The award is intended to recognize uh, an individual each year who improves OpenStreetMap through good mapping, benefit to the community, and other improvements to OpenStreetMap project. And today we are finally choosing the recipient for the award for the first time. And nominees are uh, Nick Allen, Nick Allen, again. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you, you, you know it's very hard to find individual photos of Osmars. <laughs> Yeah so, <laughs> yeah, so, you know, he's a lead on Learn OSM, and uh, he updated, he's updating tutorials, setting new tutorials and sections, and helping translate Learn OSM into many languages, which is very important because there are not only English people in OpenStreetMap. Uh, he works uh, with Missing Maps project since 2013, and he trains mappers in ADE JOSM, and he it says he added a 29th highest number of map changes uh, for missing maps. Then Harry Wood. <laughs> I couldn't resist using this photo. <laughs> <laughs> so he's nominated for good mapping for a local group organization, energetic adv advocacy for helping both develop a uh, humanitarian uh, open map team and to ensure it dovetails with the wider OSM community. Well, you all know, know the guy. Uh, Frederick Ram. Frederick Ram. Yeah, you also know him. He's uh, an OSF, OSM board member right now. Uh, and uh, he mostly works, uh, he's our treasurer. He works on making our budget transparent. He, uh, he's helping understand the project better in his mailing list responses. And he is writing a lot of useful scripts, both, uh, both at his work in Geofabric and out of it. And Richard Fairhurst, uh, uh, well, he's just great. He, I consider him the voice of reason in the uh, OSM community. Uh, he writes a lot of sane responses. <laughs> and uh, he did a lot of projects that everyone here knows, like Potlatch. One and two, and uh, recently Tile Maker and Cycle Streets. Uh, Kate Chapman, also a board member, uh, he co founded Humanitarian OpenStreetMap team, uh, and he's bringing OpenStreetMap to a significant portion of the development world. Right, and uh, the one who gets it, it was also very tight uh, voting, is Frederick Ram. <laughs> I'm sorry, Frederick. <laughs> Go on. Thank you. This is a little bit of an embarrassment because when I was when someone suggested me for this award, the, the byline was something for the work being done in the data working group, for all the good work being done in the, in the data working group. And I said to Ilya, 
you can't do that. The data working group is much more than just me. There are other people doing much more work than I do, like uh, Andy Townsend or, or, or Ethan, who is here, or Serge or Paul Norman, uh, many more people. And then I kind of expected Ilya to change the nomination to just for the data working group and omitting my name. Instead, Ilya omitted the data working group and left my name in. So here I am getting an award for, uh, I don't know, something that was initially meant to be data working group work. But anyway, uh, thank you very much for, uh, for voting for me. And thank you, Ilya, for, for setting up this whole award thing. Uh, Let's see, I, I hope that we can continue uh, giving awards to people who have earned something. And yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Frederick. Still, the Miller Memorial Award is for people, not teams. <laughs> so, yeah, you're getting this and this amazing book. Thank you. Please share the screenshots when you open it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll scan it and upload it. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, so that uh, concludes our OpenStreetMap awards. There, there, of course, there will be one next year, and we'll prepare a bit better for it. Uh, but yeah, you, now you know at least about 30 people in teams who do a lot of amazing things on OpenStreetMap. So please continue doing it. Maybe you can be here next year. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, maybe a uh, group photo of whom? Well, here, everyone on the phone. Yeah, uh, uh, maybe we have time for, for a group photo of all the winners and maybe nominees uh, of uh, SM Awards. Do you want to get out here and make a photo? Go on. Please, don't be shy. Yeah, everyone who was shortlisted, even nominees. You, if I mentioned you, if I mentioned your work, then first thank you a lot, and then get out here.